Israel broadened its assault on the Gaza Strip on Saturday from mostly military targets to centers of government infrastructure, obliterating the four-story headquarters of the Hamas Prime Minister with a barrage of five bombs. The attack came a day after the Prime Minister, Ismail Haniyeh, hosted his Egyptian counterpart in that very building, a sign of Hamas's new legitimacy in a radically redrawn Arab world. That stature was underscored Saturday by a visit to Gaza from the Tunisian foreign minister and the rapid convergence in Cairo of two Hamas allies, the Prime Minister of Turkey and the Crown Prince of Qatar, for talks with the Egyptian president and the chairman of Hamas on a possible ceasefire. But the violent conflict showed no sign of abating as it finished its fourth day. Gaza militants again fired long-range missiles at the population center of Telefon Aviv, among nearly 60 that soared into Israel on Saturday injuring five civilians in an apartment building in Ashdod, in southern Israel, and for soldiers in an unidentified location. Israel said it hit more than 200 targets overnight and continued with afternoon strikes on a Hamas commander's home in the Gaza City neighborhood of Sitown and on a motorcycle riding militant in the southern border town of Arafat. Israel has also made preparations for a possible ground invasion. Hamas health officials said 45 Palestinians had been killed and 385 wounded since Wednesday's escalation in the cross-border battle, three Israelis have died and 63 civilians have been injured. Everybody is afraid of what's next, said Hamkai Marhabu Sadak, a political science professor at All Hazard University in Cairo, predicting that the rockets fired at Telephone Aviv and, on Friday, at Jerusalem, would provoke a rerun of Israel's ground invasion four years ago. Mr. Abu Sada and E. Ephraim Khalafi, the former head of Israel's intelligence service, both said there is no clear end game to the conflict, since Israel neither wants to re-engage in Gaza nor to eliminate Hamas and leave the territory to the chaos of more militant factions.